Hi, my name's Richard and I'm an audiologist and lecturer in the Masters of Clinical Audiology course here at La Trobe University. Today I'm going to give you a brief overview of what an audiologist is and what we actually do. I'm also going to talk about the enormous job opportunities that exist for audiologists, as well as the study pathways to become an audiologist here at La Trobe University. When I tell people that I'm an audiologist, they often look at me and ask, what's that? So for those of you that don't know, audiology is an allied health profession specialising in hearing and balance related disorders. As an audiologist, we are responsible for the evaluation, for the diagnosis, the treatment, management and prevention of hearing loss and balance related disorders in infants, children and adults. What do audiologists actually do? Audiology can be divided into six broad areas that you can work in. The first area is diagnostic hearing assessments, which can be further divided into paediatric or adult settings. In a paediatric setting, you may be working with infants and children across a broad range of ages, from newborn babies that may only be a few days old, right through to school-aged children and teenagers. As audiologists, we know that early diagnosis and intervention is essential to ensure optimal outcomes for speech and language development, for social and emotional development, and to maximise educational opportunities. Alternatively, you may prefer to work with an adult diagnostic setting. Age-related hearing loss, also known as presbycusis, is the most common cause of hearing loss in adults. In fact, presbycusis is the second most common chronic health condition in the ageing population. The second area you may work in is hearing aid fittings and rehabilitation. As an audiologist, we understand that one of the most important benefits of hearing aids is they help people with hearing loss stay connected to the most important people in their lives, their family and friends. The third area you could work in is cochlear implants. Cochlear implants, also sometimes known as the bionic ear, are used to treat people with severe to profound hearing loss who have limited or no benefit from conventional hearing aids. As an audiologist, you would work as part of a multidisciplinary team and would be involved in the pre- and post-operative assessments and rehabilitation process. The fourth area you could work in is tinnitus management. Tinnitus, or that ringing in the ears, affects one in three Australians at some point in their life. However, for a small group of individuals, tinnitus can be extremely debilitating and affect their ability to cope with normal day-to-day -day activities. The fifth area you could work in is vestibular or balance assessments. Vestibular system is located within the inner ear and is important for balance and coordination. Problems with the vestibular system, such as dizziness or vertigo, can have major impacts on the quality of an individual's life. And the last area that you could work in is hearing loss prevention, or sometimes known as hearing conservation. It's been estimated that more than 1 million Australian workers are exposed to excessive noise at their place of work each day. Hearing conservation programs help prevent occupational induced hearing loss, which is a very preventable type of permanent hearing loss. So you can see how diverse yet interesting the different areas of audiology can be. But what each area has in common is that as an audiologist, we make a significant difference to people's lives. Audiology is a great profession. In fact, only a few years ago, Time magazine named audiology the best job in the US. Since then, audiology has continued to be listed amongst the best job year after year. There are enormous job opportunities for audiologists within Australia and overseas. It's been predicted that in Australia, the demand for audiology will increase 25% over the next five years. As an audiologist, you can work in a large number of clinical settings. You could work in a private clinic, or be entrepreneurial and start your own private practice. You could work in public health, such as hospitals. You could work in a university sector as an academic or researcher. You could also work for one of the many international hearing aid manufacturers and be involved in the development of new and exciting hearing aid technology. You could also work in community health centres or schools, or work closely aligned with industry in hearing loss prevention programs. Whichever clinical setting you choose, the demand for audiology is high. So how do you become an audiologist? To become an audiologist in Australia, you need to complete five years of university study. The first step is to complete a relevant bachelor's degree. Here at La Trobe University, that would be either a Bachelor of Biomedicine, a Bachelor of Health Science, or a Bachelor of Psychological Science, and then go on to complete a two-year accredited master's degree in clinical audiology. After completing your master's degree, you would complete a one-year clinical internship in order to become a fully accredited audiologist. Our graduates here at La Trobe are highly sought after and well regarded within the profession. In fact, many of our students are offered jobs even before they graduate. On completion of the course, you will find numerous diverse and exciting opportunities await. 
So if you're the type of person that's looking for a challenging and rewarding career, want to help others and make a difference in their lives, then audiology may be the career for you. If you'd like any further information about audiology, feel free to drop us a line in the chat box. We're looking forward to answering all your questions and look forward to meeting you on campus.